happy vlogmas day seven it's wednesday and i'm going to work so i have to head out the door <laughs> i had to shower this morning um wash my hair so it's still wet which i don't love going outside with wet hair maybe i should like buy a blow dryer that's something that i could do <laughs> and then after work i have my laser hair removal appointment um so that means that i had to shave my entire body this morning <laughs> so it took a little bit longer <laughs> to get ready than normal um and now i have to head out the door so i'll definitely talk to you later and update you on that whole process hi everyone i just got my laser hair removal treatment this was session number seven out of eight so i'm almost done which is crazy i remember when i vlogged when i got it for the very first time and you do it every six weeks or sometimes my schedule doesn't line up because i have to come you know at like 7 p.m um or so every seven weeks or so they just they fit you in when you can and it's been going really well like i'm very happy with the results i wish i had done this a lot sooner honestly um it is kind of like a financial it's like it's not cheap so that's probably why i didn't do it sooner <laughs> but i'm so happy with the results if we're getting like drastically tmi here if i didn't shave at least my armpits every day or every other day they would become so irritated and so itchy just the little amount of like the armpit stubble growth that would come through was like so irritating and now it's completely gone because they're literally zapping away my hair follicles so we love that it's weird to get um used to the first few times and then I feel like halfway through or I don't actually know how they do it I should ask because I'm curious but I think they bump up your laser strength or something because about halfway through it started to get more painful and I'm like because <laughs> the first time it was like oh this is easy like you know, some parts she does it and you're like oh. definitely the last time I did it I was like what is happening it was the most painful time session number six I don't know why um I guess if they're increasing the strength of the laser like it works better but it's also more of a zing and then today was like totally fine some I mean not totally fine but it was pretty doable and yeah I guess I don't have that many updates about him but I'm just really um enjoying the benefits of this and definitely let me know if you have any more questions about it because it's, it's something to think about and you might be a little wary about it but honestly I'm like have had only the best experience plus my place I go to laser away in Sherman Oaks they are so nice my girl Alex who does it most of the time when they first started out they were giving me different people every week um, but I've had Alex for like the past four times and she is just a hoot and we have a little like therapy session when she's zapping my legs and I'm telling her about like my Christmas plans and <laughs> what's going on in my life and she's just a joy plus it it helps me not think about a laser hitting my hair follicles when I'm talking to someone. So, Alex from Sherman Oaks, we stan. Oh, that is bright. And that's that's my journey. That's my laser hair removal journey. <laughs> um, I'm going home now. It's almost eight o'clock and I have been craving pasta, specifically buttered noodles with Parmesan cheese. So I'm definitely gonna go make some of that. Even though there's a McDonald's right here, like I'm staring at the sign and it's so tempting. But I'm gonna go home and make pasta. Let's do it. You wanna know a fun fact? I, at some point in the past, dropped this camera and it has a flip out screen on the top. And I noticed after that, it wasn't necessarily clicking into place like it's supposed to. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> of course I broke my camera. It, it's like so minor. And then yesterday I dropped it again. <laughs> and, but it clicked back into place. It was like I undid what I broke the first time. So if you think you broke something, just break it again. Maybe it'll go back to how it was. I'm sitting here getting up while well, I just finished uploading it. Now it's finally up. Yesterday's vlog. It's literally 8.35 p.m. I just, my timing this year, it doesn't work. It's not great, but I don't know how to make it better. Another random side note, I've been drinking so much water today. And I'm kind of thinking, is there something wrong with me that I'm just like so thirsty and I need to replenish something? But I've been feeling so good and energized all day. So when they say drinking water actually makes you feel good, 
they're not lying. I feel amazing. I've had like four of these. And I can't stop. I realized that I was doing laundry last night and I just left it in the dryer for 24 hours. <laughs> I completely forgot about it. But I folded all my laundry and look what I found. I'm a sleigh for you. I think I wore this every single day in Vlogmas last year, so I'm very excited to have it back. Have you guys seen the stuff that's going on with Britney Spears? I'm honestly worried about her, and I think a lot of people are worried. I'm seeing a lot of stuff on TikTok about it. Currently, her Instagram is deactivated, but before then, she was posting stuff that was very uncharacteristically her. Like, she posted a photo of her sister, Jamie Lynn, aka someone who's tried to actively ruin her life and the caption was like i love you baby sister happy birthday you're the best thing ever like you're such an amazing sister and it's like britney wouldn't say that and then her husband posted a video singing happy birthday to her and giving her a cake or something and she said thank you baby thank you but her voice it was like a recording it wasn't actually her it was a past recording that someone found it was literally the same recording they were playing a voice recording of her and it was the video was of her husband like if it's your birthday isn't someone taking a video of you why is your husband making this like fake video singing happy birthday to you but she like is she not there is she locked up somewhere i'm like i'm worried about her so i hope Brittany is okay and in the meantime we will wear the sleigh for you sweatshirt in solidarity also i talked about this last year but my friend joseph makes these he has other designs and other really cute like sayings and a lot of housewife stuff um it's on etsy at real pop shop also on instagram i'll link it down below um so get some holiday cards or sweatshirts or wrapping paper he makes a lot of stuff <laughs> like i don't know how he does it anyway i came here to open my heaven calendar <laughs> so let's do that day seven down here. <laughs> I was waiting for this day. Lucky day number seven. I saw this on the Amazon listing, which is why I bought this advent calendar because I wanted this so bad. <laughs> and he's like our friend Furby, so flat with these funny little legs. So cute! No, don't focus on my face camera. Focus on the cutie right here. What is he the cutest little face? Look at his little cheeks. Ooh. I have to do like the beauty guru thing so you can see it. He blends into my sweater. Look. Tell me why. I think his name is Peter. Why? 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 He's so funny. He's literally standing like this. He's so excited. We love Peter. We stand Peter. Peter is the best thing to ever happen to me. I'm so thrilled with today. <laughs> Peter is going at the top because he's a star. Here's our progress. Look at all our friends, they're so cute. Hey guys, I fell asleep on my couch last night. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Um, so it's the next day and I didn't end the vlog. So here's me ending the vlog. Okay, give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave some comments and subscribe. And I'm gonna start a new vlog for today in like literally five seconds. So see you then, bye.